Hello everyone, welcome to Photo Play's YouTube channel and welcome to Tuesdays with Tina. Today I am super excited to share another project with you. We're using the 12 by 12 Serendipity collection pack from Photo Play. This I've created cards with previous, but today we're going to create some quick and easy cards and we are using some titles paper. Titles paper is this big sheet here. This is great for scrapbooking, but it's also great for card making. The neat thing about this titles paper is there's a coordinating die set. This die set is great on its own because you have some sentiment strips, you have a block, you have a fishtail banner, and then you have a scalloped edge, plus you have three reinforcements for your tag. The tag is great, great Christmas tags on its own. But what's great about it also is it will cut out each one of these tags here and also the sentiments on the left and right. You can use your sentiment strips. So wonderful, not just for scrapbooking, it's great for card making. And we're going to make some five minute mix today using some pattern papers and some of our titles paper. And we're going to jump in and get started. We're going to start by die cutting out my tags and also my sentiments here. This is what the tag die looks like. It has a hole that will punch out for you. The nice thing is, is when you line this up, you have a little bit of lead way as far as the edge goes. You don't have to line it up exactly perfect because when you die cut this out, the negative is going to have a little bit of the color of the tag. So that, that's what I mean. You're going to have a little bit of an extra room um, when you die cut this out. And I love that. And the same goes with the sentiment strips. So I am going to die cut out this reinforcement and we'll die cut out some tags and some sentiments. I'm going to trim away the tags that we're going to create with. I also want to mention that this is nice heavy duty cardstock. Let me, let me, you hear that? It's nice heavy duty. So if you wanted to actually use these for birthday tags or just because tag, you can very well do that also. My die cutting is all done. So I have my two tags. Super easy to die cut. I also have two sentiments. One says, you rock, and the other says, thank you. And then I have two of my little scallop borders and then two white reinforcements. I'm gonna put these off to the side and then I'm gonna trim down some pattern papers. The pattern papers that I'm going to be using today are bright and vibrant. I have Just Imagine, One of a Kind, and Find and Dandy. I trim mine in half. I always say this, but it makes it easier for me to do my trimming uh, for my card bases. And I mention these sheets individually because your favorite craft store, most of your favorite craft stores have these individually. So that's nice too if you're on a budget. For my first card, I trimmed down a piece of this pattern paper. It measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. We're gonna go ahead and adhere that to the front of an A2 size card base pattern paper is adhered. This piece here is from the Photoplay Papers nested book plate die set. This is the third size down and it comes really close to being the same shape as my tag here, which I really like. I like layers on my card. So we're going to mat our tag on this piece here. Before we do that, we're going to add our reinforcements and I'm just going to use my tape runner for this. And then I'll flip it around the back. And I'll take some white twine. I'm going to thread it through my tag here. I'll flip this around. I'll add a generous amount of adhesive. And then we're going to tack this matting it on our white background. I'm going to use my paper trimmer and trim off a half of an inch off of the bottom here. About a half of an inch. And then I'm going to use some foam tape and we'll pop this up with for a little bit of dimension. I'm going to go ahead and place this all the way to the bottom of my tag, about a half of an inch from the left of my card base. And then I'll tie my bow. 
For my sentiment, I'm going to layer both of these sentiments together and then I'll tack them to the top of my scallop. And I'm going to layer these so they're overhanging just slightly towards the bottom here. The nice thing about having plaid in the background is the lines will help you get everything straight. And then for finishing touches, I'm going to bring in some gems. We're going to add a little bit of sparkle. There's some flower centers on this butterfly, and we will go ahead and fill those in. And that will finish off this card. I'm going to move along to our next card. Now for my next card, we're going to do the same thing with our reinforcement. We'll add some tape behind it. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add some black twine. Since we have some bright colors in here, I always like to add black when I can because it just makes those bright colors pop out even more. We'll thread this through here, and I'll set this aside. I have some pattern paper. This measures three inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall, and then I have a strip of the yellow paper. This measures three inches wide by one inch tall. I'm going to add some adhesive. We're going to layer this at the very bottom. I'll take this panel. I'm going to go ahead and mat that on some black cardstock. can see those colors just pop. I'll take this panel and I'm going to add this. We're going to layer, do lots of layering for this. I'm going to add this to a panel that measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. Kind of giving, kind of framing it in. We'll take this and put this on our card base. In our sticker sheet, we have a border. This is like a notebook border. I'm going to trim down a piece here. I don't need a lot of it. And I'll use this to cover the seam. Just kind of layering them all together. Any excess overhanging, I'll trim off with my scissors. I put foam adhesive behind my tag. I'm going to remove the release paper and this is going to go right in the middle. Our bow's tied and in our sticker sheet there is a sentiment. It says, today I celebrate you and I already put some foam tape behind here and I'm going to shorten this a little bit. So just using my scissors, I'm going to trim off the fishtail that's on the left and the right. I want to make this a little bit shorter. And then I'll place this over the candles right in the middle. And then for this card, we're going to add a few stars here. And that will finish off my second card today. Some quick and easy five minute makes using the photo play papers serendipity 12 by 12 collection and also the 12 by 12 sheet of the titles paper. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. We will see you soon.